Hello, in this video we will learn how to use the scenes and props of the Frame Story Kit. In the Scenes tab we have a large collection of scenes. We can bring any scene we want to our composition simply by clicking on it. So, let's select a scene. It loads very fast and as you can see each scene has its own animation. In this area here we can see scenes that were previously created. If we want to create a new scene, we click on the New Scene button and simply choose whichever scene we want. Let's choose one more. If we want to erase a scene, we select it and press Delete, or press Delete All if we want to delete them all. If we then proceed to the pages below, we will see that apart from scenes, we also have a collection of sightseeing sites from around the world. Let's choose one to preview it. We see these sites have their own animation. Now let's delete it. At the top of our panel, we have various filters that can give a unique touch to our compositions. Let's choose one. If we want, we can erase the layers that we've created by simply selecting them and clicking delete. So, we've seen how to work with scenes. Now let's go to the props tab. Here, we have a huge collection of props divided into categories and subcategories. The only thing we need to do here is, you guessed it, simply click on a prop and it will load onto your composition automatically. If we want to delete a prop from our composition, we simply select it and hit delete. If we want to delete it from the project, we go to the project panel, My Created Assets, My Created Props, select the prop that we want to delete and press delete. This collection is huge and you can take your time to play around with all the props. One thing to add is that in this collection, aside from the props, you will find bed sets, houses, and even cities, each with its own unique animation. So now we've seen how the scenes and props work, and in the next video we will learn how to use the elements of the library tab.